Hey friends, Nibs again. Wanted to get out and uh, do a little plinking this morning. Uh, nice Saturday morning. It's a little overcast, calling for maybe some rain, but right now uh, we're uh, in the clear, so get out and do a little bit while it's still clear. Um, down at uh, the range number two, so to speak. Uh, I just had to run over this way and do some work at the church anyway, so I uh, wanted to get over and do a little plinking and show you another uh, fun one that I picked up. Um, not nearly as old as some of the stuff that I get, but uh, this one um, actually pretty cool. Uh, it did come with the original box uh, and um, <clears throat> looked like to me, uh, I really do believe that uh, before me this had never been, maybe never fired at all, but um, it definitely hadn't been fired since the uh, factory anyway. Um, this is a uh, H&K Heckler & Koch uh, HK4, and this is actually the very first weapon that that company produced, um, um, and it was very innovative. Uh, they uh, actually have a system, and I don't have, unfortunately, I don't have the, uh, the whole, whole kit. You could buy them as an individual um, caliber, which this one came as a 380, AC, uh, 380 auto. But um, they actually have a kit. You could order this uh, as a four, that's where the HK4 comes from, four caliber uh, set. Um, and it would a be able to shoot 22 long rifle. Uh, 25 ACP, uh, 32 ACP, or 380 auto. Um, so they uh, for the to do the three center fire cartridges, you just have to disassemble it and uh, take the old barrel out and use the magazine for the proper caliber, and you'd be fine. Um, but uh, for the the long rifle one you'd have to swap out the barrel but before you did that there's actually uh, um, I can't probably see it I'm not gonna take it apart out here because I don't want to lose nothing but um, there's actually on the breech face there's actually a little screw there that you uh, have to use a long thin screwdriver um, to reach down in from where the muzzle would go uh, and unscrew that screw and uh, if you're switching to rim fire, you actually have to flip it over. Um, and then you have to put the uh, breech face, uh, bolt face back on. But you have to make sure there's two holes in that face. You have to make sure that the, uh, the firing pin lands in the hole that uh, would be towards the rim of the cartridge instead of the center of the cartridge. So um, very cool. I don't know if anybody else has ever done that and, or has done it since. Um, but uh, it allows you to shoot those uh, four different calibers. Uh, one of these days I'd like to track down because um, it would usually come as the, the pistol in its original caliber in, in a separate box and then there would be a, another box with uh, the magazines and the barrels for the other uh, three calibers. So. Um, this particular one, so they, they started production of this uh, firearm in 1968, um, but this particular one, so H&R Harrington Richardson was the uh, importer for H&K at the time. Um, I don't know if they did all of their products or just this one, but um, in 1971 was H&R's uh, uh, 100th year anniversary, and this particular one uh, was done for H and R as a commemorative uh, for that uh, hundredth year anniversary, um, and so this uh, placard and the trigger are actually uh, gold plated uh, for that uh, hundredth year commemoration. So, um, so this one's pretty cool. It's kind of collectible. It does actually has a, a. I think I read they only did two thousand of these. So, I mean, isn't it like a, you know, very tiny uh, uh, amount, but, uh, you know, it's still not a huge, you know, 50,000. There's not a million of them out there or whatever. So it is kind of collectible, but uh, I've been shooting it here. I'm um, just shooting it like seven yards at some, uh, we got some falling plates out here 
at this range. Um, pretty uh, pretty cool. And we also have a dueling tree over here. Um, but uh, just got some uh, some Aguila uh, solid round nose in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and shoot up, and get my ears in before I even load it, because. Uh, This gun uh, kind of reminds me of a couple different ones I have. Uh, definitely has a, a feel like a, a Walther PPK, but uh, actually has more of a, a, a Mauser HSC type of uh, arrangement as far as the shrouded hammer in the back and all that. So um, it's an interesting design. Um, and also when you, uh, like, a, like a Mauser, when you insert the magazine it uh, closes the closes the slide and chambers around so um, I'll go ahead and uh, I think these plates are set up for a little heavier uh, I was hitting them, but they, a couple of them didn't fall over. So we got six plates. Uh, this is a chamber for seven shots. So, uh, but uh, I'll reset them and shoot another mag. See what we can do. Maybe, uh, maybe these ones will do a little better. Um, so this uh, this handful, I actually have some uh, some Tula. Um, this is steel case stuff. Uh, I've shot it out of some of my other 380s, and it shot pretty good. So. I think it'll do all right. Um, so let me reset this. I just pull this uh, cord here. Pulls them back up. Um, again, uh, slide it in and it locks it home. So. Well, I got it. Uh, the, the sixth one, I hit it, but it uh, it didn't knock over on the the first bullet. But uh, it was able to uh, knock it over. I am kind of at an angle at that last one, so I think it's striking an, an angle and might uh, actually uh, slow that down. But anyway, so there we have it. This is the H and K four H K four made by Heckler and Koch. Uh, Pretty cool little gun. If you can find one and uh, they're not terribly expensive, uh, pick it up. Um, they did have standard versions of these two. Um, like I said, I'll be on the lookout for the. Uh, I'll be on the lookout for the uh, the kit with the other barrels in it because that, that'd be cool to add on to the that for part of the collection. But uh, when I when I first got this, um, the breech face was set up to. For rim fire, so that's why I said earlier I don't believe this has ever been fired, even maybe even from the factory. But um, so I uh, tore it down and uh, switched it over so it'll shoot center fire like it's supposed to. So anyway, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel too. Um, on uh, Facebook and on MeWe, we have uh, uh, Walnut and Steel Collectors Group on there. Um, it's a little newer than what we normally show on there, but we do uh, have this stuff, this kind of content on there as well. But, uh, you know, we, we talk about mostly older stuff, uh, old 22s, old uh, Millsurp stuff, really nice. So anyway, I uh, hope you have a great day and uh, we'll see you on the next video.